Our speaker tonight is the president of the class of 2011, Mr. Jared Dole. Good evening, Frecta. As most of you probably already guessed, today is the day of our graduation. For some like myself, today is a day of celebration. And for others, it's a day of introspection and nostalgia. But for all of us, it's a day to look forward. Graduation is a time to imagine what the future has in store for each of us. It's a very serious time. A time to decide where our lives are headed once we walk out of this building thrust into the world in which many, many of us are unfamiliar. You might be asking myself, yourself, will I be successful? Will I be rich? Will I be famous? Statistics say probably not, unless you're a halfway course. The United States Census has figured out that only 12% of people go on to make six-figure salaries, and only about 1 in 200,000 will become famous at some point in their lives. In today's society, popular culture attributes success to fame and fortune. But the success I'm talking about has nothing to do with monetary gains or popularity. It is measured solely by happiness. But what exactly is happiness? Happiness can't be learned from a textbook or from a teacher. Diplomas we are about to receive don't guarantee that we will live long, happy lives. Let me put it into perspective. Today is just another rotation on our planet's axis. All of us live on a tiny speck of cosmic dust floating aimlessly in the vast darkness of space. We are born into this world and die before the sands of time even knows. We are, we are all insignificant creatures that will eventually be the demise of our own existence through our own destructive tendencies. So why do we feel emotions such as purpose and fulfillment when we are so tiny and weak in the grand schemes of the universe? Why do we feel happiness when deep down we know it is only temporary? How easily is a day or even a lifetime completely shattered by some random or unforeseen event? But is it the scarcity and delicacy of happiness what gives it its value? Many of you plan to continue your education, get married, have children, and hopefully further your growth as an individual. It would be a lie to tell you that it gets easier from here, for the fact, it doesn't. Most of the time, life sucks. <laughs> You'll go through rough times without a hint of a brighter tomorrow. My senior year hasn't been the best year of my life, and it didn't really live up to my expectations. I didn't always make the best choices, and some people will really screw me over, literally. But I learned to, no to not let it define who I am. I believe that I have become a better person through all my years of this high school, and that makes me happy. I am thankful to have a supportive family and many good friends, like Kevin Williams and Kyle Hamm, there, that are there for me when I need them most. Seek relationships and encourage that encourage and support you. Be supportive and encouraging to others, for happiness is rarely found alone. We, we will leave here today with nothing but a piece of paper and a choice. Inevitably, our diplomas will fade and decay. However, we can choose what value we give our education. Will we use it as a tool to follow our goals and aspirations, or to follow a safe, predetermined path? Will we choose to guide ourselves and be the engineers of our own futures, or let others guide us? Lastly, will we choose to be happy no matter where life takes us? Go forward and live life to the fullest. Fall in love, make mistakes, learn, grow, be thankful, and cherish every possible moment. Thank you.